I am ready to go back to work and hold Boris Johnson to account. Labour's Dawn Butler, one of many MPs on social media today, itching to get back inside the Commons. Likewise, Labour's Luke Pollard. He returned to Westminster not long after the Supreme Court ruling. There's work to be done. Boris Johnson must do the honourable thing now and resign. Let's get back in there. Let's get back to work. Among the others expressing their enthusiasm at returning to work, the Lib Dems' Luciana Berger had already taken her seat. Speaker John Burko today explaining Parliament had never actually been suspended in the eyes of the law. In the light of that explicit judgment, I have instructed the House authorities to prepare, not for the recall, the prorogation was unlawful and is void, to prepare for the resumption of the business of the House of Commons. But that business never usually takes place during conference season. So with MPs soon filling these empty benches, what will it mean for the Tories gathering in Manchester in a few days' time? It is enormously difficult for the Conservative conference then next week. For a start, Parliament is still sitting. Now, Parliament would normally be in recess during the party conferences by agreement of, uh, of Parliament. But a real question about whether or not that, uh, that, that is the case. And this does undermine uh, the government at a point when they had had quite a good week. But what of Boris Johnson's position? Has our PM really embarrassed our head of state? And what should the punishment be if he has? I don't see how any Prime Minister in these circumstances can carry on in their office. Uh, when you've acted unlawfully, you have broken the law. The decent thing to do would be to resign. These were the chaotic moments in the top right of your picture when Parliament last sat a fortnight ago. Today's verdict means future Prime Ministers will now find it much harder to prorogue Parliament. This court has said that it can decide how the Constitution should be rebalanced. And if the executive tries to do away with Parliament, even for as little as five weeks, the judiciary are going to come to the rescue. It's a very significant decision. And it's a decision the Green Party MP Caroline Lucas is now smiling about. Her and the many others who said they'd been denied a voice.